Hi guys. Today I want to talk about what is happening in Libya. The truth about the Africans being sold in Libya. Before we go on to talk about it, we have to ask ourselves, why is this happening now? Why all of a sudden Libya, which was a great friend to the black African communities, Why is this happening now? With no one to stop it. We should ask ourselves the reason why. Libya used to be a sovereign country. It used to be one of the peaceful countries in Africa. With a great leader, Libyans get married with, with, with free loans, with no interest. When they get married, they get free money for honeymoon. And now all of a sudden, for the past two, three years, people in Libya, after the overthrow of Gaddafi, they start selling black Africans in that country as slaves to work in farms, which is so disgusting. But we have to ask ourselves, why is this happening now? We all have to come to understand that this is happening. Because the Western world overthrew a man who kept the country in a peaceful shape, in a peaceful manner. When Gaddafi was on, when Gaddafi was on, I say it again. There is no terrorist organization who can even breathe on the border of Libya. Why? Because they feared him so much, they know that they cannot bring down what he has built and he would take all of them down. When he was overthrew, the country were in chaos. And who were those people who were fighting against Gaddafi and the, with media, the Western world, like the Americans, the Germans, the French, who were supporting? Those guys were the terrorist people operating in the country now. Using children as prostitutes on the streets, selling human kidneys on the streets, auctioning African slaves on the streets. Can you imagine in this 21st century this is happening? The Western world, you caused this. You have made us understand, you want Africans to understand that anyone who is your enemy has to be our enemy. No, it doesn't work like that. Gaddafi was your enemy because he wouldn't bow down to you people. He wasn't our enemy, he was friendly to us. Every country in Africa appreciated Gaddafi. The reason, what is the reason why? Because his vision was to bring Africa together. All the people used to fight against Gaddafi. They are now running all this terrorist organization in Libya. And what are you doing about it? You haven't done anything, and this is the consequences. Orphans running on the streets, women begging, people who have lost their homes to these terrorist people. There is no peace anywhere. And now Africans are being sold as slaves. In this 21st century, you have to be ashamed of yourself. We can go on and go on and go on and talk about people are being sold and this and this, but what we have to say is what are you guys going to do about it? And I know you guys won't do nothing about it because you caused this. And you don't want people coming back to say you caused this, but you caused it. She left the country in chaos. She left the country in no one's hands, but in the hands of terrorists. I read for my fellow brothers. 
I grieve for my fellow brothers who are still in captivity. We have said this and said this and said this again. They are still in captivity and being sold and being interviewed. But there is no country we have said that they are going to get them out. Why? Because nobody cares when it's an African. As far as you, they've got what they want, they took out, they took him out. They don't care whatever happens to that country. A great, a great country as Libya have fallen so bad that the people who are friends to Africans right now are being they are being they've turned around to show them as slaves just to survive. It breaks my heart. It really breaks my heart. Seeing the Western world sitting down and not doing anything about it. It's, it's, it's something that we all have come to understand that. They are being sold. They are being sold in 21st century. Something which people fought wholeheartedly in Brazil, in the Caribbean. In America, in the UK, in Germany. All these countries had slaves in the 18s and 19s in France. They fought for slavery to stop. And now all of a sudden you have Arabs selling uh, black people as slaves. We can choose to sit down and look at this just to happen. I was in a seminar. I was supposed to speak in a seminar this weekend. And I sat close to two German guys. And a friend of mine was talking about this issue. And they sat down pressing their phones like there was nothing wrong. And after five minutes, I asked one of the guys, So what do you think about what the guy is saying? And I was like, I, I, I don't, you know, it's none of my business. Can you imagine how I felt? The country is in a chaos and no one did this. No one did this before this can be sorted out. The media have to go deep and say the truth. The people who are responsible for this chaos in Libya and they have to go back and rebuild that country because she left people homeless left people widows orphans and all these people have nothing to lose now so they are committing the most atrocities a human being can commit against a fellow human being which is slavery.